looking at more questions now. When does the single come out? Um, the single will be out uh, mid-August, actually. So in about a month, you'll hear the song. And I really am excited about you hearing the song. And I can't wait to hear what you think. Um, I'm really proud of it, dare I say. Um, Sparks Fly. Oh, somebody asked about Sparks Fly. Um, this is a question I've been seeing a lot, actually, on Facebook and stuff. Sparks Fly is a song that I wrote a few years ago and played in concert, and you guys have, like, have learned it and, and I think like it, which, I, which makes me really happy. And when we did the 13-hour the meet and greet, at the CMA Fest, that was a comment that I kept getting over and over again, where you guys saying, so what about Sparks Fly? Is it gonna be on the next record? What's going on with it? And um, yes, it's gonna be on the next album. And I'm, I'm as excited as, as you guys have been, you know, asking the questions and, and thank you for having interest in that song. That's really awesome. I really appreciate it when you guys pay such close attention. I mean, I played that song at like maybe one or two shows, and you guys just jumped on it and really made it something that I had to put on the album, um, because you guys really showed interest in it, and that's one of my favorite things about y'all, is that you really tell me what you like and, and what you're thinking and what you're feeling, and um, so yes, that will be on the record. Oh, all over the world. Um, there's a question from South Africa. All over the world it will be released um, the same day. So October 25th is the day, just everywhere. Glo it's the global day, it's not really, I know sometimes there are varying days, which is understandable because there are varying time zones in varying countries all over the world, but this is actually gonna be just the day. So try to keep it simple. A lot, lot, lot of dates to remember, to memorize. Uh, um, how many songs are on the new album? I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking 14. So um, that's one more than. Music. having written it over the last two years and you know what I what I would do like during making albums my favorite thing to do is to make a list of what the album would be as I keep writing even when I'm just in the beginning stages of writing the album and I've got like three songs on the list I still make a list um, of what track listing that would be like which one would be one two or three and then you keep writing more songs and then you keep writing more songs and all, all of a sudden you've got a list of uh, like 25 songs but what I would do is I would keep bumping off songs that I felt I had outwritten and knock them off the list so that you keep updating this list and as you keep writing more songs you, your list gets better and better and better um, and I did that so many times I can't even count. So um, I'm really excited about the list of songs that has ended up being this album because I've thought long and hard about it. And uh, that's what I've been doing nonstop all summer. It's, it's been a process of two years of writing it, recording it, and just combing through it, just picking it apart, putting it back together. and. Uh, I'm just really excited for October 25th.
my favorite summer outfit. Um, my favorite summer outfit is definitely the sundress. I haven't varied much from my true and deep love of sun sundresses. Um, organizing my closet the other day, which I did for the first time in my new place, which was like so much fun. I, you'll notice that with me right now, every conversation topic directs back to my new place because I'm just really excited about it. And I have like my own drawers with my own like socks and my own drawers and it's, it's mine and I'm really excited about it. So um, my favorite summer outfits has to be like, I don't know, I really like sundresses and I like headbands a lot. Um, I usually just throw on flats a lot because um, they're on the bottom drawer of, my drawer of my closet, which I now have my own closet and I'm being super obnoxious about the fact that I'm really excited about my, my own little place. Um, so my favorite summer outfit is definitely sundress and headband and flats. Um, any advice for first time songwriters? My advice to first time songwriters would be, you know the person you're writing the song about. First, first know that, um, and then write a letter to them, like what, what you would say, if you could. Because, you know, that's why I listen to music, is because it says how I feel better than I could. And it says what I wish I'd said um, when that moment was there. So I would say, be as direct as you possibly can. If you need to dial it back later, then I guess, I guess do that. But for me, I think the more details, the better. The more it seems like a journal entry, the better. The more it seems like an open letter, uh, the better. The more true and honest and real it gets, where you're naming the places you were, the times it happened, um, all the things about a relationship. You know, I was talking to someone the other day, and we were talking about how um, Richard Curtis is one of my favorite writers, and he is the guy behind Love Actually, which is oh, my favorite movie. And I think the best thing about Richard Curtis's writing is that when he plays out these relationships in his movies, it's not just a boy and a girl fall in love and all that. It's there are all these inside little mementos of each other, like the one relationship in Love Actually, they had an inside joke about how she loves a Joni Mitchell album, and then there's the little storyline where, um, like, just all the little jokes that play out. So if you can, in your songwriting, be as detailed as possible, because for people to relate to it, they may not have the same details in their relationship that you had in yours, but they can relate in that they had these little details to their relationship too. So I would say the more honesty the better, the more details the better, the more direct um, the better. What have I been doing spending my time off? Well, I haven't really penciled in much time off. Um, I think, you know, for me, like I just am obsessed with being in the studio, so that's what I've been doing lately, but um, I guess the time off category would fall into like going to antique stores and buying old frames and I, I I like mason jars. I go into these antique stores and they usually have like old mason jars um, under the counter and I like to go and buy those because I think they're really pretty to just have around um, which is really random now that I say the words it sounded less random in my head um, 